technology has just taken off. We're seeing there's a lot of changes in the industry and it's not just changing fuels. It's also looking at really fantastic things like are the ships now fit for purpose? Do we need to look at non-conventional things so, you know, like wind assisted propulsion? We've got nuclear options, we've got alternative fuels, but we've also got a lot of other things like energy efficient devices being added. And of course, with a lot of the changes, we're also progressing AI and autonomy, which is having a, a massive impact in the industry as we go forward. So the biggest push and the biggest uptake in technologies has actually been more around those smaller retrofits, the energy improvement. How do you say 5% here or 10% there? Because it, it does all add up. And a lot of those technologies has minimal invasiveness to crew competencies and upskilling. So we're looking at things like um, air lubricated systems, vanes being put on uh, ships for ships design, with the alternative fuels, unfortunately, that still needs a lot more work in the industry to prove where we need to go. And although we have a really innovative way forward with, say, nuclear, we've still got a challenge of cost effectiveness and safety with a lot of the other larger innovative technologies. If I were to look at wind-assisted propulsion, we have 45 different designs in the industry that people are retrofitting or um, building on their vessels from new. If I look at carbon capture, we probably have about 12 different um, uh, technologies. So I think as an industry, we actually need to lobby together and create some way that we can have mutual recognition, some way we can trust what's being provided, or some way that we can have options to say as an industry, you know, small ships will go probably this way, larger ships will do this, you know, container ships will do this, whatever it is. I, I see autonomy and AI as, as a way to create diversity, to help us have a more level playing field. To go offshore or to go to sea, you have to pass a, a quite strict medical. This allows us to have people in the industry who might have uh, physical disabilities or any other type of disability. And also for me, as a female, I've been pretty lucky with uh, landing on my feet and having opportunities ashore. But I'm sure there's a lot of other women who wanted to keep a foot in the industry, having uh, a facility where they can job share, they can have a family life. To me, this is, this is truly exciting. We're looking at, you know, what's the best thing for our children, for our future children's children? How can we make this a better way forward? And as I said, 92% of the world's trade is through shipping. And I think if we can get on board and we can drive some of these changes, I think this is a really exciting time.